Welcome to a quick Hootsuite tutorial. This is for David Harms. He asked me uh, from Alden, Iowa. He asked me about how I set up Hootsuite, so I'm going to do that real quickly. You can see this is kind of my start screen that I go to immediately. Uh, let me show you how I set that up. First of all, you need to go into your settings by clicking on your name and make sure you've added all your social networks. There's so many social networks you can add, um, which is great. Um, just realize that um, Facebook does penalize your, your uh, post if you post through any other client other than directly at Facebook. So usually it kind of makes more sense uh, unless you're just giving updates or something to post that directly. So I'm going to go back to streams here and I'm going to hit plus and I'm going to add a tab and show you how I do this. So I'm just going to call this main um, screen and I am going to add some streams and you can see that you can pick between your social networks and such um, and I'm going to say first of all I want my my home stream to be there and then I want my mentions now I would add my DM inbox here but um, I've got some emails in there and I don't want to share those so usually I would add my DM inbox here maybe my DM out box would be way over off the screen um, you can add followers and all that kind of stuff. Um, I have to use another tool for followers because of how many I get in a day. I have to be careful with that. And um, so I have my home feeds, I have my mentions, I have my DM inbox, and then I usually put my scheduled tweets. Now these are great for when you go to a conference. Uh, you know how people will say, uh, I'm going to be in room such and such at such and such a time. Well, the frantic conference goer will just try to tweet that out, but the plan ahead conference goer will go ahead and schedule all those so like before ISTE uh, 14 starts I'll go ahead and have all mine started not to be spammy but just to kind of notify those who are at the conference who follow me that where I'll be and when and I'll just usually do one or two updates because you don't want to look desperate please come to my room or whatever uh, like some people do now there are a lot of apps that you can add and I use a lot of apps uh, in mine and there are other things that you can add as well but this is the main screen now if I wanted to add a um, a search then the way I would do that oops is I'm gonna hit search here it moves on me and I'm gonna do ed tech chat one of my favorite new chats lots of friends there that run that and now I have this lovely um, dashboard here for that okay so once you get everything set up now be very strategic about what you're paying attention to and where um, and you can see the thing that's nice that I like about Hootsuite is as I scroll down I can see that a lot of people have checked this out so a lot of times I will go here and I will favorite notice I also have a um, note I have Storify set up here I've got to see if they've added pocket I'm hoping they'll add that soon but I can create a note from this and send it straight to Evernote if I want to. I can even send it to Storify, which is kind of the social media um, publishing kind of tool that a lot of us use. Um, so there are a lot of features in here. And then, you, of course, you can favorite that. Um, and I do something special with my favorites as well. So you can make these dashboards and just be strategic about how you make those. Now, remember, when you interact with a tweet, you can click on somebody's name. You can see all about that person. You can see their timeline and what they've written. You can see any mentions that people have had. And of course, he and I have been having a good conversation today. Um, here you can see Joe uh, Sangillo has quoted David in um, a Storify story. So I was just mentioning Storify and how cool it is. And it's very obvious that David's very into history, which is a great thing. Um, I always look though at the bio and if you're a teacher or an educator you definitely want to put the word teacher in your bio because a lot of us search for the word teacher to add people um, you can see I also manage my school from here which is great um, you can also see when people have joined uh, Twitter for whatever that's worth to kind of see if they're they're new or whatever and you can follow their website and such so um, this is just a little quick um, Twitter tutorial. I hope it helps. There's lots of features and things you can use in Hootsuite and it does save you a lot of time.